Ang tako tako mo naman. You're always thinking about food. Are you really gonna eat that? You're gonna eat again? Do you feel like you eat and think about food way more than anybody else around you? Let's talk about how you can control your appetite. If you've been following my channel, then you know that I have been in a constant struggle of binging and restricting. So I know exactly what it feels like to constantly think about food and just feel controlled by food. And the diets did not help. Are you hungry? Chew gum. Drink water. Have some coffee. Take an appetite suppressant. They actually kind of made it work. And it's been a few years since I've been working towards food freedom. So happy to finally be able to be in control around food and have so much brain space back. When pizza is served, I don't feel like I'm gonna run out. When there are donuts, I don't feel like I have to eat the whole box just to feel satisfied. I can also now leave the table comfortably full instead of overly stuffed. But how did I get here? In this video, I'm gonna share with you my five tips on how I control my appetite. Let's get into it. Hold up, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell if you wanna know when another video comes up and hit that thumbs up if you want me to make more videos. Really, it would help a lot. With that, let's get into it. But wait a minute, let's talk about your appetite hormones. Our body is really good at regulating its appetite and you actually have many, many appetite hormones, but our main ones will be leptin and ghrelin. Leptin is your satiety hormone, it tells you when you are full, and ghrelin is your hunger hormone, which tells you when you are hungry. If you need help remembering that, just think of what your stomach sounds like when you're hungry. Grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
And a tool for this is something called mindful eating, remove distractions. This doesn't mean that you have to constantly be looking at your food the whole time, but taking at least one meal a day where you are just focusing on your meals and your hunger cues can be really helpful. Chew slowly. This isn't necessarily a rule or a regulation, but chewing 15 to 20 times can help you reconnect. Take breaks. And no, I don't mean stop eating and come back later. Put down your utensils, put down your sandwich, your burger, or anything after every bite so you kind of reset. Have a good looking meal. You eat with your eyes first, they say. If you want to, you can actually identify the colors and the shapes and the textures as you eat to reconnect. Practice mindfulness aside from eating. If you're like me and you multitask while you do everything, there's a phone, there's an iPad, and then there's your laptop while you're editing, you're watching two videos, then you're probably bringing those distractions to when you eat. Have your fun foods often. Like the moment you tell yourself you're not allowed to eat cake, everybody suddenly has a birthday. Like what? Can you plan that when I'm not on a diet? It's kind of like when you're searching for these new shoes and now all of the ads are popping up for those shoes and you're like what now i have to buy it it's everywhere when we put these rules these labels on food you're putting them up on a pedestal and giving it the power to control you versus when it becomes a regular part of your life it will always taste delicious but it's not going to ruin your diet having a dessert after every meal or adding cookies to your oats adding fun foods regularly is going to make you feel more in tune with your body and also going to make life a lot more fun because then you don't have to restart your diet every single time you enjoy yourself. Be curious, not judgmental. Judgment looks like this. Oh no, I ate a pint of ice cream. I'm such a weakling and a loser. I already ruined my diet. I'm just gonna have to start it tomorrow. Curiosity looks like this. I feel the need to eat this pint of ice cream right now. Are there other things that I need to check on? Maybe I didn't eat enough. Maybe I'm emotional. Maybe my foods weren't satisfying. Or maybe something happened to me today that really just buzzed me off. Judgment holds you back and puts you in a box and then you have nowhere to go. Now it's just shame and guilt and a constant spiral. Instead of judging yourself for eating five slices of pizza and feeling very uncomfortable, we take that as information for next time that five slices is a little too much. Now, instead of feeling constantly out of control around food, you have solutions in case it happens again. You know how when you have like a bag of chips, you're constantly wanting some water? Well, that's your body trying to say there's a little bit too much sodium going on. Your body is literally so smart. Hunger is not a bad thing. It's your body trying to tell you some things, but more often than not, we are judging ourselves before we even figure out what it's trying to tell us. It's not gonna happen right away where you're automatically in control, but learning more about yourself will help you get there faster than hate ever will. So is controlling your appetite really just about discipline and hard work? Listening to your body is not just about knowing what the cues are, but understanding what it means. And most diets and rules kind of fight every single instinct of your body, which is probably why they're not working out. Take your time, learn to listen to your body, and I promise you, you will feel in control again. So that was the end of the video. All I want to do is help you on your journey to heal your relationship with food. And if you know somebody who needs some help on their journey, send them this video, or you can also click on the link in my description to join my program. Subscribe, thumbs up, you know the drill, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, don't forget, you always deserve to eat. Bye. This top is from Nasty Gal. It's an old top actually. And this jeans are some overrun Zara. Is it? Lapalang tag, but I think it's Zara Overrun. Got from Shopee.